not going to believe what happened. So we got the CR85 running. Okay, so I went and got a carburetor rebuild kit. These are Magnum carb kits, CR8085s, 96 to 05. Came with all the gaskets. Um, you got the bull gasket here, the bull uh, plug at the bottom has a new gasket as well. And when I took this old gasket out, there was quite a bit of grime in there. This one don't look too bad. Clean this out. But I took the carburetor off. I uh, cleaned the whole thing, and then put it in the put it in the soda blaster, and cleaned all the passages. Now I'm putting everything back together. These are blown out. So, all right. So I picked up a couple different kinds here. So I got a bigger head, bigger head Phillips, and some stainless steel Allens, or socket heads. Wasn't sure if these would fit well. Fork guards came today, just going to pop those on. Float both set, might be a little low, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to put some, well I guess it doesn't matter. I'll put a little bit of fuel in here. Gonna both put all this back together. Bring the carb over.
Okay. Let's clean up these zip tie situations. All right, let's turn the fuel on. See what happens. It'll be coming out of these two. see anything yet good deal so far so good all right we're gonna put some finishing touches up here we're gonna put the brake front brake pads on first this caliper off and then we got these two pins here I get a new set of tusk front brake pads probably gonna have to compress this I like to use the old brake pad. Well, I couldn't find the old one, so I'm gonna have to compromise a little. like that. That's all you want to do is compress it all the way in. Part and put your caliper back on. It's that fast. Then you're going to want to make sure you pump up your, your front brakes. There you go. See how it's touching down there? And last, I'm going to throw on some UFO brand fork guards. And these are just a 5 millimeter socket head bit. I don't know why they never made these just plain white. They make them like a see-through color.
Last thing you want to do is button back up your front hydraulic brake, which is just a 5 sixteenths. You're not gonna believe what happened. So we got the ACR85 running and put it through some rides. And I'm talking like five or six rides. Took it real easy the first couple, two or three. And then, you know, just did some quarter throttle load on it. And then the next one, half throttle load. And then just started, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say raging on it, but you know, taking it through what it's going to be put through. So, um, well, like the fifth or sixth ride, I uh, had Kira take it around the front yard and, you know, try and get used to the throttle and whatever else. Well, I hopped back on it and took it back out. It was already warmed up. Um, I went and got a carburetor kit for it and it had a 50 pilot, had it out, one and five eighths turn, 100, uh, 125 main, and um, had the, the needle in the second clip and took it out, took it down the street, took it through the, the field, was heading back and I did I don't think I had it fully pinned but it I tried to give it a little more throttle and it kind of I heard it drop just a hair in RPM so I let off the throttle and all of a sudden it started going like that and I, as soon as I heard I mean it had to be like 15 10 of those noises like just a brrr, and I instantly hit the clutch and it went brrr, and then kind of like brrr, 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 and just it shut off smoothly but it didn't seize up well i'll show you guys what i found but if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel first hit the subscribe button and the alert bell i mean come on back check out what we got going on don't forget to smash the like button always love that so